What does it mean to be a capable and trusted disciple of Jesus Christ? As a child, I grew up with the misunderstanding that apostles and disciples were the exact same thing. As you can imagine, this caused a great deal of confusion to me when the various primary presidents in my different wards would teach us that we all needed to be disciples of Jesus Christ when there were always well over 12 of us there. I've since learned that there is a difference between the two. Though it is unlikely that we will each be called to serve in the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, each of us has been invited and called to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. The Savior himself personally invited you to be his disciple when he beckoned, Come, follow me. In 2017, Elder Robert D. Hales taught, A disciple is one who has been baptized and is willing to take upon him or her the name of our Savior and follow him. He continues, A disciple strives to become as he is by keeping his commandments in mortality, much the same as an apprentice to become like his or her master. End quote. This is what discipleship is, but do we understand what it means to be capable and trusted? Capability refers to the capacity or ability of an individual. For example, do you have the ability to assume more responsibility? Or do you have the abilities and skills to solve the problems you're presented with? When I think of trustworthiness, I think of integrity. When defining integrity, Elder D. Todd Christofferson said the following, Integrity means being truthful, but it also means accepting responsibility and honoring commitments and covenants. So, being capable and trusted could be described as having the capacity to assume responsibility or as the ability to honor covenants and commitments. Our capability and trustworthiness as a disciple of Jesus Christ is in large part determined by our willingness and consistency in keeping the commandments of God. As we obey the commandments, we will receive all the blessings that are predicated. Avoid the awful chains that the adversary wishes to ensnare us with and are ultimately choosing liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men. Those who keep the commandments of God will always be more capable than those who do not. And, like the parable of the talents, as we show the Lord that we are good and faithful in these things, he will know that he can trust us with greater things. Discipleship does not ensure a carefree life. It requires us to take up his cross daily and follow him. In a world full of distractions and sin, we cannot idly wander and hope to honor our commitment to Christ. As Elder Dieter F. Uchtdorf explains, discipleship requires our willingness to swim upstream when needed. It requires effort. Though Though the path of discipleship may not be the easiest route in life, I continue to echo Elder Uchtdorf in promising Your life will be better. God will use you to make the lives of others better. You'll see great progression in your life in ways you could never imagine. Angels will prepare the way before you, and doors that seem shut will open. I testify that as I've made the personal choice to follow Jesus Christ and keeping his commandments and doing what he would have me do. I felt the spirit more in my life. I've accomplished more with my life. And I've got to know my savior on a more personal and intimate level. And I know that the savior loves each and every one of us and wants each of us to follow him and be his disciples. Of this I testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.